Hey guys, I just want to do a quick uh, unboxing and um, overview of a couple of issues that I had with this new Rolex Explorer that I got. A little bit of a bittersweet video because, you know, I love the watch. I was shown the watch by my dealer, um, authorized dealer. Um, and, you know, unfortunately there is an issue with the dial here. I'm not gonna point it out, but see if you can see it. But before I get there, I'm gonna show you this warranty card. So, you know, when I got it, um, I didn't really look at the warranty card until after I got home. And what I noticed was that um, the bottom right corner was ripped here. Look at that. This is a beautiful leather case that comes with um, all new Rolexes. Apparently it's one warranty card per box. Uh, per uh, watch and this this was ripped in the bottom corner you know this one's fine and I think what probably happened is as the de as the dealer was filling out the warranty card and they they put it they tried to stick it in this uh, slot here they were just a bit rough with it and this probably just sliced right through um, give a closer look you know and look I'm not trying to ask for sympathy or anything. Um, I, all I'm doing is trying to outline this issue to watch, so you can watch out for this next time you buy a Rolex. Another thing that makes me think this might be a manufacturing defect is look at that little dimple over there, okay? That's something bigger than just the graining of the leather. Um, that is like an indentation into the actual leather, uh, which, you know, which I wonder if this leather uh, warranty card was like this, even out of the manufacturer. Uh, you see that dimple? Um, okay, so this is no big deal. Um, you know, I was a bit upset about this. I called my AD. AD said that, look, we can't, I talked to my sales associate first. He's a nice guy, but he's relatively junior. And he said, look, we have one box per card per case and we can't do anything about this. Um, and then I escalated this to the manager. Uh, I'm like, look, this is a new watch and I, you know, do you like this piece of leather here? I mean, you know, if you buy a brand name leather piece from anywhere, it's probably at least a few hundred bucks. Um, that's even besides the point. It's just, I, 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 I don't, it just doesn't leave a great feeling or experience after, um, you know, uh, after buying this new and waiting for so long. Uh, but on this watch here, look, it's perfect. Explorer here, absolutely brand brand new, right out of the box. They took the stickers all out, okay? And what you notice here is that there's a piece of dust right above the uh, eight o'clock hand that appears to be on the inside of the case. Um, and let me just put a sticky note on here just so you can see where exactly I'm referring to, okay. It's right where this arrow is pointing, okay? There's that little speck. And you know, initially I thought it was just on the surface, but let me turn on the light here. There might be some weird shadows, but forgive me. Uh, I do want to show you this clearly. Um, right there. Okay, so it's right over there. Right over there, okay? and it just does not come out. Look, and it's something that once you see, you can't really unsee it. Um, I thought I was just seeing things until I read on the forums that other people have this issue as well. And that, um, you know, other people have found hairs underneath the, the, the crystal or have found uh, fingerprints underneath the crystal. Um, but look, I think, it should be relatively clear. Look, that piece of dust just won't go away. And you know, it's like an itch that you can't scratch. It's a brand new watch. Everything's perfect, but you know, right over there, you see that, right? It's just something you can't unsee. And so I brought it to the Rolex Service Center. They're really great. They said, oh, look, we'll um, take it out for you. We just have to open up the case and it's gonna take a few weeks. And I was thinking to myself, you know, it, this new watch, I just get this, my first Rolex, 
this warranty card yeah, has, has a rip there. And I got a piece of dust in here and they're gonna have to open up the case. And while it was the Rolex service center, um, you know, there's still risk with any opening up of, of a case. And this is covered under warranty, but you know, warranty shouldn't be something that's used in, in the first two weeks of, of ownership uh, without this ever being, being worn. Um, and so, you know, uh, and also the, 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 they have to repressurize this after they open up the case. So there's a bunch of steps and possibility of other issues coming in here. And I guess my, my biggest thing was, you know, if there's a QC issue with the card, QC, QC issue that I can see, quality control issue that I can see with this piece of dust here, is there anything else that I'm missing? And, you know, I can't answer that, but... Um, what I did know is that I'd probably prefer an exchange if possible. So I called out my AD, I sent them the video and pictures of um, the warranty card and, and this watch. And again, my, my junior associate, he said that, you know, they couldn't do anything about this. Um, he said, just take it to the service center, it's covered under warranty. And I, I explained how I was feeling to the manager and she was very nice. And she told me to show me that, look, they usually have a seven day exchange policy, but in this case, it's been 14 days. Um, uh, and I just, they just noticed this. Um, I actually didn't wear this or didn't take it out of the box for the first week because it was the holidays. Um, so look, she, she, would take this back and do an exchange for me, except they don't have any explorers right now. <laughs> so, you know, I think uh, what they'll do is they'll give me store credit and the first explorer that comes, they will allocate that to me. So I thought that was a really good solution. Um, and, you know, that, that, that will solve this. I mean, to some of you, this might not be a big deal, but look, as you just stare at this crystal some more, look at that. I mean, this thing just won't go away. Uh, and, and again, I mean, some of you might have just left it with a warranty, uh, department and, uh, just kept this watch. Um, that was what I was leaning towards as well. Um, but over time, I just, uh, you know, I'm glad that my dealer was willing to come up with this solution. So look, I, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you the issue that I found with this watch. That's some, something else to... To, to look out for when you're buying your new Rolex. And um, yeah, happy happy hunting, everyone. Um, again, I'm not looking for any sympathy. Um, you know, this is certainly a first world or first class problem, a high quality problem. Um, and you know, it's a bigger deal to some than, than others. Totally acknowledge that. But nonetheless, I thought it'd be interesting to share this and now I will pack up the box and send it back to the dealer. So if you found this interesting or if you ever had something like this happen to your watch, please uh, post in the comments and let us know what happened and what the resolution was. Um, and, you know, hopefully, hopefully Rolex steps up the QC game. I hope this is an exception rather than the norm, and I think it is. But nonetheless, to have it happen to me um, is... Certainly an interesting experience. All right, like and subscribe for more videos. And when I get my new Explorer, I'll do uh, an updated review on, on this. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.